welcome! In today's video, we are going to learn four different strumming patterns. You can look on the bottom right corner of the video to skip or move forward to any strumming pattern. For the first chord progression, we are using A minor, G, F, and E7. Alrighty, let's do this. What is the first strumming pattern? The first strumming pattern we're going to learn today is called a bolero. And it's one of the most simple patterns used in mariachi music, but it's also one of the most beautiful. Okay. So it'll be... Down, 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 down. How many downs are we doing per chord? It's gonna be four each. We're gonna do one bar for each chord. Okay. Come in. One, two, ready, go. Let's try it again. I'm gonna play it on baritone ukulele for my berry players. Ready? Yes. One, two, ready, go. Number two, uh, I would say it's probably 2A. Okay. Um, we're going to do what's called a ranchera. So there's different kinds of rancheras in mariachi music, and this first one is what we call a ranchera polqueada because okay. it's based on a polka rhythm. Most people are familiar with polka, umpa, umpa. Mm -hmm. We're using chords G and D7 for this one. Right. So, for example, it would be one, two, ready, go, rest. Three, four, rest. So we can do that. That's a really slow polka or a really lively one. Is the same thing, just a little bit faster. Okay. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Finish on G. Okay. There you go. That's a ranchera polqueada. So that was the second strumming pattern, but I think it makes more sense if we add the little bass to it. So let me try and play that bass part. Is it the same as what we did before? What we practiced behind the scenes? Okay. Let's try. One, two, ready, go. Pattern, or to be, as you're gonna call it, and that one is ranchera valseada. Right, so this is another kind of ranchera, and this one is based instead of a polka rhythm, this one is based on a waltz rhythm. So this will be in 3 4. Okay. And I mean, most people are familiar with the waltz, so it's like. Yeah. Dum, 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 and we're dum. using the same chords G and we'll D7. We'll be using the same chords, it'll okay. be in the same key, so we'll use G and D7. The bass will come in on one and will respond on two and three. Okay. So it'll be one, two, three, That's one. It. <laughs> Give them a measure to count in. Okay. One, two, three, ready, two, three, one. Two, three, two. You super love doing that. 
Yeah, because it makes a lot more sense. It does. It, it, it helps. The, a lot of times in mariachi music, the, the guitar or vihuela is not the actual driving force. The bass mm -hmm. is. So the bass leads to the chord change. Mm -hmm. And that way you know how long or when to come in. Yeah. You know, because you're responding as you said. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but I do super love doing it. <laughs> okay. Ready? Let's go a little bit slower. One, two, three. One, two, three. pattern which I think is super fun we're gonna break it down in level because it is more challenging can you just play at full speed so that we can hear what it sounds sure. like um, this just, is like don't demonstrate just like just play. show, just right. show. down so that we can all do it and you can walk away from this video showing off to all your friends or if you don't have friends you can show off to anyone on Instagram because we have a cool community during this. Alright, here we go. A minor first. Yes. Are we going to tell them what it's called? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is a little bit more advanced technique and this is a rhythm called Horopo. That's J-O-R-O-P-O. -O. It goes okay. like this. So we're going to break it down. Give us an A minor and strum down up down up down up with us just on a minor down up down up down up down up down up down up now give me a d minor and strum the same way ready go Bring the hand all the way up, E7, ready, go. Okay, so now we're gonna do a fast move through those chords. It's gonna sound like this. and I will tell you how he chucks and hopefully one of these chucks will work for you. If you already know how to chuck, skip to this part of the video. Okay, so when I chuck, I do a strum and a twist. Strum and a twist, strum and twist, strum and twist. So you do want to hear the ring, but you also want to hear the stop. And you just speed that up. We're going to do that on beat two. So we've been doing one and two and three and so the chuck is going to be on two. One and two and three. One and two and three. One and two and three. How do you do the chuck? Or how do you teach it? Okay, well, uh, the way I teach it, I always call it... In mariachi, we call that an apagón. Uh, and the word itself lends to the meaning or the technique. Apagar in Spanish is to turn off. And an apagón is like a sudden and forceful shutting off of the strings. Mm -hmm. So I always explain it as the strings make noise when you strum them mm -hmm. and to shut them off violently stops the vibration. So you're strumming and stopping it with the same hand right one right after the other. So I use the I use the meaty part of my thumb there to to mute the strings. So I strum down with my fingers all four of them and then I'll stop it with my thumb. And I always liken it to the, the snares on a snare drum or something like that. So they're vibrating loudly and immediately shutting off. And also part of it is your own your hand hitting the the body of the instrument. Can you do a close-up shot so they can Let's try see? That. <clears throat> And then 
do super mega slow mo. Okay, and then one completely sideways so they can see it. Yeah. Yeah. Up I one. And that'll happen on two, like Bernadette said. Let's do it just on A minor. One, two, three. twice as long. One, two, three, ready, go. Okay, so now we're going to glue all of that together. We're going to go a lot slower, but remember if you speed this up, it sounds super cool. So let's try that. One, two, three, ready. section of the strumming pattern we're going to speed it up gradually and work it up to like a really nice speed remember at which point in the video you stop this so that you can come back and practice there so let's start at a slow speed and we'll speed it up i'll follow your lead let's go at the same speed we're going at mm -hmm. one two three ready two three try it again let's go one two three ready two three if we add it to a song so uh, the very very last part we were doing the Horopa rhythm and that chord progression is a really popular song amongst mariachis it's called El Cascabel so if you can get down that rhythm you're ready to play El Cascabel it's that over and over and over and over again that's the whole song okay so uh, what we're gonna try to do here it's actually kind of difficult to play and sing that rhythm or for me anyway I'm not uh, of you know, I'm, a, I'm mainly a trumpet player, but we'll try doing that. We're going to play and sing a little bit of El Cascabel, which means the rattle, the rattlesnake rattle. Ready? One, two, three, one, two,
we hope that you enjoyed this tutorial with four different strumming patterns. I wanted to bring Hinato here because we often learn like just basic strumming patterns that everyone hears, but these are unique to mariachi music and they're unique in general. Hinato also is starting a YouTube channel, so I'll make sure and add a card here and the link down below if you want to check out this and other videos that he's made like this as well. And uh, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah. I'm really happy. I've been a fan for a while and I'm excited to be yeah. you know, on your channel. So thanks everybody for watching. Yeah. Um, if you want to check me out, uh, Bernadette's going to leave the info in the description. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye guys. Cool. Oh, I forgot to press record. Chill.